ओके जी नमस्ते सभी को थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग ब्रीज ओके सो स्टार्ट योगा सेशन माय इज बिसाइड मी थैंक यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग इज माय मैक्स विल कम अभी मिश्का विल कम ब्रीज ओके ज्वाइन यू ऑल फॉर योगा राइट सिट स्ट्रेट Three times. Breathe in deep. Breathe. Expand your diaphragm. Diaphragm is a very powerful muscle in your body. So all the breathing exercises that we do are actually meant to help your diaphragm become stronger. When diaphragm is stronger, you breathe in more. How do you get more memory? How do you become intelligent? When you have more oxygen. So diaphragm muscle. How do you pre prevent? acid base imbalance reflux and all other tummy problems when you have good diaphragm and abdominal muscles okay so how do you make asthma and other types of lung diseases better if you have good tummy muscles diaphragm how do you reduce stress and other things in your life then you know how to breathe properly your adrenal glands relaxed gets relaxed the muscles the nerves surrounding the adrenal glands okay so there is lots of benefits which people don't know so breathe in deep sit sit straight deep Oh. Oh. ओम शांति 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 पुनः आप सभी को धन्यवाद साथ देने के लिए और अपने आप का कुछ ना कुछ जीवन में अच्छी मार्ग प्राप्ति करने के लिए आपकी कोशिश आपको ही सारा देगा लेट्स स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज आसन ऑफ फिजिकल एक्सरसाइजेस विच बेसिकली मींस रिदमिक एक्स parallel body exercises where you are mindful that's a trick about life the more you are in aware of yourself the more things happen for you the more you are separated from yourself which means you are dependent on external things around you to keep you happy so so to say which is not happening there anyway you are more diseased or you are more disappointed okay so food is not only thing that gives you health whatever you put inside your body which are your thoughts the way you perceive things around everything is like a food to your body that's why you need to be conscious as a human being what you're doing so okay rotate your ankles clockwise three times uh, anti clockwise three times put your ankles away and try and test that you are okay good now pull 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 the legs Bend down, bend down. Touch your thighs and so, and so over your neck. Touch the toes. Now, specific exercises for your chakra system, energy system in the body. First one, pull up the right ankle over left knee. Press the right knee to the floor. Okay, so pressing onto the tailbone. Okay, right. Hold your legs in your hand and move. Then take them. 
both sides. If you bring it all the way to the face, good. If you can't, don't worry. Do the same thing on the left side. I press storage of energy, all the power resides at the lowest level of the chakra. Okay, so if you can gradually consciously push this energy upwards, it gets filtered and refined from basic fight, fight, flight response that we do to the body to much more higher level of being. Okay, so by default, everybody as a survival mode has that, but it can be very painful, it's very difficult. You get diseases, you get mental issues and stuff if you are stuck there. So you need to move this. So second one is called titliyasa. That's butterfly pose, so feet together, hold, and then try and push your knees as much down as possible. So swadhisthana around the perineum. So that's a little bit higher, so you are your reproductive functions, excretory functions of the body. It's, every function is maintained in a very low, about at maximum about 10% of your capability. But if you want to dwell deeper, not only you know how to control each of your sensual perceptions and your addictions and things can be checked aside. Yes, come. Ah, Mishka, Mishka, ah, ah. The other thing is then, then the what do you attain from each of the sensual perceptive perception increases from 10%, so 20% or 30%. Imagine the level of satisfaction and other stuff that we'll obtain. So now the third one is called Manipur, which is at the level of your belly button, the fire center, the drive, the success, material wealth, all health and all this things, collection in your body. So, so when the first two are balanced, when you're in control, and most of us, when we're growing up, by default, you know, the distractions were less in life, you were, were able to actually reach the third stage without knowing, and this happens in most people, that you achieve well, in, do well in school, and you proceed in life. So, because... There was less distractions of digitalization, was less than other things, because it has very lots of good sides to it, but they are not so good sides to it as when you are a child. So, so some of us escaped, which was which made us actually progress quite nicely. So that's this is called my three D. Do this exercise where you're pressing onto. Your belly button go clockwise three times, then then anti-clockwise, touching your knees, the back end, then opposite knee, which I'm going front as much as you want to put Then the fourth one is called anahat. So that okay, so it's at heart. Compassion. When you become a human, because human nature is creativity, okay. It's not just 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 flow with the kind of Whatever you, minimum you know, human beings are the only creatures which have this potential of creativity. You can do new things every time. And that's why you get bored by either traveling to a place or every time you first time flying an aircraft is very exciting. But the next time you go slowly, third time, it doesn't become so exciting. Same about places because as a human being, we are meant to be creative. We need to keep doing things. So knowledge is paramount. You can't stop learning. Do with that application of creativity. So when you cut at the heart level, this is the fourth energy center, anahat. So om sound also comes from that. An means not a hat, means a heart. So not attached to it, but beyond. So om mantra in that way is vibration produced not by two things hitting together, but on a single level, similar level. Everything otherwise is like two sides to it or two surfaces meet. So the bigger part of Anahat Chakra is that the compassion that you get, the humility, simpleness in life start coming. Because the reality is the, the more you bark, the more you 
force yourself on anything and everything, the little that person is usually because you are living in a, this persona, which is your ego. And that ego you are trying to protect, which is not true self either. But that's a really sad situation because you are not aware that you, what are you doing to yourself is not actually you anyway. You are just being playing around in this persona that a person has. So at anahat level, that all goes. You're true to yourself. You are deeply intuitive. You are truly compassionate. You are neither too happy, neither too sad, but you remain in state at a very balanced level. Okay, so because the reality is you know you are more than this. This just sensual perception, or little pleasures and whatever happens around you is just transitory. The real person that is deep to you, the awareness of it is much more larger. Okay, so, you, so knowing that person of you, so keep going up, so up to the heart, then chest and the neck, it's called Vishuddhi Chakra. So our voice, the way you speak, the way you talk, the way you say things, you know, anger, as I keep saying every time, destroys the person, not the other person. The other person might be affected for a while, but they are big enough in their own self to move away and forgive. Because the forgiveness and gratitude, these are very, very highly supercharging powers of our body. But the person who does those things actually is, as I said, it's not only food which makes this body, but what your thoughts are, what you say with this mouth is directly responsible for your health, your well-being. So when you come at this level after the compassion and things, your voice, when you speak, people listen. When you, when you say a word, it's got meaning. You are not like an empty drum, just barking around all the time, okay? So that's all this thing does. And then up is the each of your senses, like your nose, eyes, ears, taste bud. And then the uh, forehead, the tikka place, because you see the connection to metaphysical. For those, we do breathing exercises later on. Okay, so the physical part is up to there. So now, exercise for your legs, bringing up Padmasana. So sit in this position. If you can lift yourself well and good. Okay. Now, lifting yourself up on your hands. Then on the back of your hands. The triceps area, push, push up. One, two, three, four, five. Lie down flat. Okay. Now exercises for your legs. 45 degrees, hold it there. One, two, three, four, five. Touch the floor, back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch the floor, back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Open your legs. You can make circle outside in. And then in, out. Three times each of them. Sarvanas, shoulders to push it up. One, two, three, four, five. Open your legs. Push them front to back. Like cycling. Front way, back way. Keep up. Keep up. Do halas, push your legs all the way back. Second time. Third time. Good. Now call Muktasan. Bring your knee towards your face. Push as much as you can. Chin side. Good. Both. One, two, three. Four, five. Lift yourself up and down. Up and down. Go side to side, right side. Yeah, so muscles of your tummy, chest on the sides. Trapezius, source muscle, back muscles, all these are being utilized. Okay, inside. Now do Matrishas and bring your ankles towards the bum. Lift your bum up, hold it. One, two, three, 
So five leg or your feet are flat, lifting up, up, up. Chakras, support your shoulders, bring up, lift. One, two, three, four, five. Come down, support your neck. Makarasa, towards the right side and towards the left. Right again, left. One more time, right side and left side. Now, increase the pressure, put your ankles on the right knee and then bring your left knee towards the floor on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. On the left, do the same. One, two, three, four, five. Now, hold it. Balance yourself in this position. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Up, come up. All the way. Now, Gomukhasana. So right leg inside, sit on the ankle, push your left knee over your right, right elbow behind left knee. Look at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Now go left hand up, right from the back. Hold the fingers if you can. One, two, three, four, five. And then the knee. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. Stand right, ankle over left knee. Twist your body as much as you can. Left elbow behind, right knee. Look at the back. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. Right hand over right from the top. Hold the fingers on the back. One, two, three, four, five. And the knee. One, two, five. Good. Sit down. Now, rest. Resting. Now, step. With the sole of your feet, press each of the pressure points, aku pressure, to your sole and your palms. Hold so many positions in your body which directly actually help your neuronal connections. Okay, so as I said, talked about diaphragm muscles, oxygenation, very important. For stimulations of neurons so that you get don't get memory disease or Alzheimer's and dementia as you grow older. Pressing soles and feet has these connections, neuronal connections to your brain. So it stimulates the pathway, okay, to motor sensory pathways in the body. And okay, so if you concentrate as a cell, you are the deeper person more than these superficial senses, as you get more connected. Your breathing, your prana, your energy inside, when you relate with it, and slowly your diet, your thinking process, and other things becomes aligned, then your energy, which is what we are, 99% is energy, everybody is part of this space. Okay, so then you are able to utilize this energy in terms of your own healing. Okay, so you, so you can if there's ailments or pain or things because they are living cells 50 trillion cells in your body they are individuals but they're all connected to, together but at one level they're separate they all need attention all require your attention not only your ears eyes and uh, taste buds tongue and things no all these cells you need to connect with all of them to really become uh, happy in your life. That's where the connection comes from. Only if you limit it to your five senses, then it's very difficult. So now press uh, this artery near wrist level, just press it clockwise. So do it 15 to 16 times. Okay, so, and then bring your elbow your thumb like this. So this helps with your acid base balance and things. You don't get stomach pain and other things. Both sides do about 16 times. Clap. Expression of gratitude, appreciation of people and everything around you. We are part of all this what's called unified energy, okay? Even every other Organic things have energy in it, okay? Non-living stuff as well. 
is part and parcel of this huge picture of energy that is around us. The more you know how to connect, the better your life becomes. The more you then will connect with your 100 trillion cells in your body. That's the way to do it. To be appreciative of everything that is around you. So be animals, not only selectively one animal, two animals, every animal, every plant, every creature, including you know, it's scavengers which are there to clean this place around your house. Everything has a meaning. Okay, so don't be judgmental. Break yourself loose. The more freedom that you acquire, the more you become a complete person. All right, so now stress and things of life sits around the head. So just use this muscles of your hand, press around your forehead. The sinuses are there. Go to the sides, right to the back. Use the fingers, go down, come up on the top of their head, press the scalp, your eyebrows, eye socket around it, cheek, chin, come down to your neck, up here. A lot of energy centers sit around here. If you press them, you get energy in life. You won't be lazy pressing them. Okay, so breathe in through your right nose, press your fist on the right armpit and breathe out through the left. With the opposite right, fist on the left armpit, breathe in through the left nostril, out to the right. <laughs> So, if, as I say, if you're energy, so your positioning of moon, sun, and all the planets, non planets of this universe, earth, and around sun, everything has a meaning as to how it acts on your body. So, this breathing, why we do different ways, is actually because of that. Keep knowing and realizing that you are not just this body. Actually, if anything, 90% of you is subconscious mind which is to do with your thought processes and energy. Only 10% is to do with this physical components that we realize now. Facing downwards, do exercise, stay in plank position or do push-ups. Okay, lie down flat, push your hands upwards and pull your, push your legs downwards. Stretch yourself. One, two, three, four, five. Relax by resting your chin on your thumbs, which is supported by elbow. Bring your legs towards your bum. Try and hit. Okay, push, push. Now, lift yourself up on the right side. And look at the ankle on the right down. One, two, three, five. Change side. One, two, three, five. Side pass now. Stay pose. Bind your legs together, hands together. Move your body from side to side. Right to left. Back to right. Left. Right side. Left side. Right side. Left side. One more time. Right. And left. Now hands by your side, lift your legs up. One, two, three, four, five. Test the floor. Back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One more time. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now bring your pull your legs. You are still bump. Lift yourself up. One. Now, with breath, go up and down. One, two, three, four, five. Go side to side, right, 
let's keep holding you and just we're going to do it this side. Move your body right side. Lift your, lift your neck. Right side. Left side. Right side. And left side. Now. Now balance yourself. Right leg with your left elbow. Come up. Straighten yourself. One, two, three. Change side. One, two, three. Now on your knees. Go up. Balance one, two, three, four, five. Change side. One, two, three, four, five. Push your head inside and stretch yourself. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. One, two, three, four, five. On your fours, just like a camel. Breathe in and out as you come up. Hold your breath and then move your tummy clockwise. Second time we do anti-clockwise and keep doing it. Yeah, breathe in. Up. It has to go up on your knees. Try to push yourself as far back by using the support of your ankles. Go back, back, back. One, two, four, five. This time, sit on your ankle and push yourself further back. Stretch your back. Okay, the, the vertebra, the bones you need to stretch your body, the spine. First, the fluid. There's fluid in the spine. The nerves which take messages from your body from outside in to the brain. This is the path where the highway stretching them, stretch them. The fluid washes your brain. So you don't get dementia as you go older. All these stretching exercises have very high meanings, okay? Go as far back as for now. If you touch the floor, put one, two, three, four, five, come up. Up, 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 see all these stretching things, they're very soft, they're very rhythmic. You use your own body weight, really the best way to know how much weight you should use for your muscles. Press your belly button with your fingertips, go down, okay, Vajrasana in this position, go down as you breathe out, go hold it, one, two, three, four, five, come up. Increase the pressure by putting the left hand over right. Increase one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up. Now use the right hand to press onto the right fingers, left fingers, press, go down as you breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now along your thighs at the level of your belly button. The kidneys and other organs, adrenal glands, sit there. Put your fingers there. As you breathe out, go down. Press on your tummy. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now stretch your hands wide open. Keep your neck straight. Exercises for your eyes. Keep your head straight. Look at the fingers on the right side. Just move the eyeball. Go eyes. I meant one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go on the left side. One, two. Five, go diagonal, right side up. One, two, three, four, five. Left side down. One, two, three, four, five. Next, left side up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right side downwards. One, two, three, four, five. Right side horizontal again. One, two, three, four, five. Left side. One, two, three, four, five. Hands on your thighs. Look far away. Quickly to the tip of your nose, far away, tip of your nose, far away, tip of your nose, far away, tip of your nose. Now go clockwise 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. Anti clockwise 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12, 9, 6, 3, 12. Now next sense, go clockwise, gradually, slowly, clockwise, remove your neck. Okay, one more. Then anti clockwise. Again, slowly. Just move it, your neck in a circular motion. 
Now, wrist exercises, push your left fingers upwards and then downwards. Upwards, opposite side, downwards. Then hold them together, move the wrists outside, in, and then inside out. Pull your hands up, down, push them up, pull them, extend them. Now, balance yourself on your knees like this. If you can do it on the side, like this. Or on your tummy, like this on your elbows. Okay, now lie down flat, raise your body up without support of your hand. So all these exercises that we do eventually increase the power of your tummy muscles. So you are able to lift yourself without using your hands. Just in a lying position like this. Train yourself, gradually it will happen. You go up, lift. So you don't use your hands anymore. Standing up, exercises like this now. All right, stand up, dive down. Breathing, very important. Open your chest, breathing and out. Connect yourself to the atmosphere where the oxygen is coming from. Breathing as you feel it. And out. In, out, in, out. Extend your hand, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, jump, and keep standing, right, do exercise for your knees, ankles together, knees together, support your Knees and then go clockwise and then anti clockwise. Yeah. So, now, your pelvic area, same thing, support them and then move clockwise five times and then anti clockwise. Keep on. Okay. Now, Anjali position like this, hands up. And cuts are supporting you, go down. Okay, just go down slowly. Balance yourself, come up, hold your thing, uh, yellows. Okay, press them nicely, softly. Go down, come up, down, and up. One more time, down and hold it. Malasan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, come up. Now, balancing, three folds. Brick chasen, go up, you're on your both toes, lift yourself up, hold it. How long, you know, you can straighten yourself, hold it like this, breathe in and out. Now, do the same thing with on one leg. You pull the left leg up while you're standing on right leg, hold it, one, two, three, four, five, breathe out, come down. Now, you're standing on your left leg. One, two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Extend yourself. Warrior position on the right side. One, two, three, four, five. Push yourself up, up, up. One, two, three, four, five. And balance it in one leg. One, two, three, four, five. Change side. Push on the left. One, two, three, four, five. Push your hands up. One, two, three, four, five. This time, balancing on one leg, left side. One, two, three, four. Five. Now, three corners, which is part of Chandra Namaskar, appreciation of the positioning of the moon itself. Okay, So all the vegetation and everything that grows is through the moon cycles Okay, at night. At night, plants release oxygen for you. Okay, While you're sleeping, oxygen is made in the day too, but more so. So Chandra Namaskar. So three corners. Touch your right ankle, look at the fingers on the left side of the top, then bring them down, both hands together, bend your left knee, go down, touch the floor, bring yourself up, one, two, three, four, five, come up, 
sit on right ankle. One, two, three, five. Change side. Three point on the left. Hand down. Right hands up. Look up. Down. Your right hand at a 90 degree level. Both legs. So bring. Come up. One, two, three, four, five. And this time you sit on your left ankle. One, two, three, four, five. Come up. Push yourself. Stretch by holding and pushing towards ankle, deep inside, up in the front, go up, down, front, up, one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so the last exercise is called Surya Namaskar. Okay, so Surya Namaskar, each of these, especially expression of gratitude, as I keep saying, saying a very important part of your life, okay? So the positive impact, as I say, apart from food, your thought processes, your expression of emotions, what you do has a direct impact on your cells. Even at your gene level, how your gene, good genes amplify in your body is because of complex interaction of not only food, but your thought processes. Expression of gratitude is supposed to, when you are thankful, to anything and everything around you, plants, animals, family members, neighbors, workmates, everyone. You are doing a huge favor to your body. It's not actually bringing your class down or anything. It's nothing. People who think they are high class or something, they are well off or better off. No, this, that's just a recipe of your disaster inside your body. You might just blow yourself and think that you are too good, but it just, who cares anyway end of the day, but the sad part is, it's actually amplifying your own genes in your body, because any bit of fear, anger, all these things are associated with fear, anger, jealousy, hatred, ill will, negativities of life, and they have very negative impact on your cells and your DNA. So it's always place, place to be the simplicity of life, being simple, being expressing gratitude. So that's why we do this exercise especially as I thank you to sun or moon or plants around you or trees or the atmosphere or earth or sun because without that earth is not going to survive anyway so learn how to express gratitude the whole prayer business of when we recite mantras is expressing gratitude that's all it does so you're expressing gratitude so learn this thing very powerful emotional component in your body breathe in Push your legs up, hands up, one, and then touch the floor, two, push your right leg straight on the plank, astanga asan, chin, knee and ankle, uh, toes are touching, lift yourself, bhuja out, and then forward mountain pose, right, followed by left leg, push your left leg in, come up, all the way, do it the same, from the left side, breathe in, and out, in and out, push the left leg this time, in plank position, astanga asan, Bhujang, Parvatasa, left leg followed by right, pull right leg in, up, all the way. Now breathe in again, breathe out, go up, right side, push your right leg back, in position, Astam, Bhujang, Parvatasa, lift your right leg followed by left, pull your left leg in, both legs together, come up, all the way. Now do the left side, breathe in, and up, in. In, out, push your left leg back, in position, Asthangasana, Bhujang, Parvatasana, left leg followed by right leg, to your right leg in, all the way. Now third cycle, starting from the right side, breathe in and out, one and two, touch the toes, right leg back, three, four and five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Left side, one, breathe in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. That's only three cycles and you are sweating. Okay? Imagine doing 10, full 12 step, only Surya Namaskar. You know how fit you can become by a simple set of exercise. You don't need very complex gym exercise, 
food supplements all these things you know your body is your pharmacy actually learn how to stimulate your normal natural medicine that you can produce in your body the more you become dependent on outside the less your body is going to produce the chemicals chemical mediators neurotransmitters good feeling hormones they are in your body the corporate world is for profit okay advertising all these things are gimmicks to fool people okay so you have to make your choices in life which direction you take either you will like a you know a herd of sheep or something just follow blindly or you recognize yourself as an individual and you are unique like the fingerprint of a person in 8 billion people they all are different everyone is different so everyone should live life in their own way yeah and if you do it in the right way then you can become creative so that's the ultimate okay so now we'll finish up our exercises which is we are left with so just balancing on your hands lift up on your elbows then head stand if you can't do it then do the shoulder stand lift yourself let the blood flow from your toes to the heart and the heart to the brain watch all these things happens in your body as you become quieter you will appreciate the internal activities of your body which is 90% okay or everything subconscious in you time move yourself towards that if you want the secret of how to live this life at a peace with happiness with abundance you need to actually find this this is the formula knowing yourself intuitive power the subconscious of who you are talking is one thing feeling and knowing is a totally different thing okay so lie down now the last asana is called shavasana so dead man pose like a corpse like this you know when the body dies because the prana you see people vetra are usually lighter when someone dies it becomes very heavy actually so there's no energy in there to help you lift that person so lying like that completely flat hands by your side legs by your side little separated and your inner senses is what you now concentrate on so it's not now random accidental voices that come so you see but your eyes are actually closed but you are seeing things in much more deeper sense through your closed eyes that you much more you can see like how mind can travel so rapidly all over the universe and anywhere you want to take it faster than any kind of social engine uh, networking system your mind can travel your eyes is limited in its capability but when you close your eyes uh, the level of perception that you can acquire visualization is far greater the same with hearing same with taste part yes so that's what's called part of yoga nidra so breathe in through your nostril appreciate where the air is coming from as i discussed earlier and where it goes in your lungs and how it's taken by hemoglobin in red blood cells and to every single cell in your body including your brain that's the secret of getting intelligence and eh? having good brain cells that don't start losing memory a breath breathe again deep breath now all the way take your attention this time to your belly button and put your effort into watching as you breathe out with that the blood flew back all the way from the body to heart to it to lungs and lung rapidly exchanged it took out the carbon dioxide nitrous oxide other gases 
outside of your body without you realizing. So 99% of what is happening, you are not aware. That's why when you become attentive, when you become have increased awareness, then you start watching your breath because breath is the paramount. Okay, so without breath, you are dead within minutes. Everything else is okay, relatively bit, allows you to live, but breath. So the more you are able to watch this, the more you are becoming intuitive or subconscious, or your brain waves and your heart waves are getting in coherence. Okay, and that is the secret of how to know yourself. So breathe again deeply. The third type of prana is called samans. This time as you exhale, bring your attention to the belly button upwards, a little bit up. Visualize now, there is a metabolic power. The acid, tumola, hydrochloric acid in your tummy drives the whole digestive process reflective of sun. Without sun, the nine planets in this universe, they will survive. Or oh, earth. Earth is the only living planet because of the distance from the sun and the moon and the placement of it. So in your body, there is reflection of energy in that manner. So it gives you beauty of your face, the aliveness in it. Now breathe again. Deep breath. The fourth type of prana is called udan. So bring your attention as you breathe out to the heart level. We talked about anaha chakra or heart with four chambers, pushes blood five meters through your body. So that gives you this cohesion, shitalta. So your body is 70% fluid. Your brain is washed by fluid. That's why we do asanas or exercises, these rhythmic exercises, because the cerebrospinal fluid washes your brain. Imagine if you don't wash them for 15 years properly, what will you happen after 60 years? You lose memory, your neurons are not working. And you're not breathing either well. So you're not getting even oxygen. You don't need very high, complicated rocket science to understand what's happening to your body. So we see SF it for or lung is surrounded by fluid, heart, your abdominal organ. Every part of your body has this fluid component to it. Fluid is the part which carries the electrical impulse. So you get signals on your skin or any part of your body. This fat layer, fat cell, fat is component of the cell membrane it's called where the signal goes, which has impact on what's called protein. And the behavior happens because of those things in your body. So you're directly connected, signals come from outside. And these are connected by electrical impulses because those potassium and sodium channels, they produce 1.4 volts of energy. And you have got 100 trillion cells. Imagine how the voltage of this body. So that can only be conducted through a fluid. That's why you need water, two and a half liters at least minimum are very you need to drink. And water, not other fizzy drinks and things. Like smoke, like red meat, like uh, other things, sugar is a poison to your body. Don't take sugary drinks and things. Breathe again. Deep breath. Now follow it again through your nose, through your lungs, and this time bring it all the way to the, as you breathe out to the top of your head. It's called, fifth pran is called Vyam. The reflective of your 207 bones, your 40,000 kilometers of your blood vessels, nerves, your all other system that is represented in your body that does this machinery. As I said in the beginning, if you are aware and conscious and put attention to these cells, they perform better. And especially if you have expression of positive emotions like great gratitude, you being gracious, you being good thoughts. But at the same time, if you have the wrong thoughts, you are anger, as soon as you wake up, you are shouting, you are angry, you are blaming people, you are jealous, you are have hatred, then the reverse happens. The choice is ours. Nobody does anything to you. Remember that. It's your choice what we do to this body. So this water, part of his, the body is a connective electrical impulse. And then it connects outside as well. That's how you can connect to the universe. Because in this space, there is electromagnetic frequencies. 
and they are only connected to the fluid of this body. The signal from the skin goes into this watery environment that takes and to the they stimulate production of these chemicals which travels in your blood. So good feeling hormones and all these things happen in your body. Okay, so breathe again. Deep breath. Then there are five other prams called Na, Kuruma, Karikal, Devda, Dhananjaya. So they have to do with your eye movement, peristalsis, birth process, other functions in the body. Now breathe again deeply. Okay, second part of the body which can't survive is by food and water. And a little bit we talked about. We talked about breath, the 10 types of breath. Now food. A two and a half kg baby becomes 100 kg. The only thing that happened to that child is what you put in the mouth. So you have to be very careful what you put in your mouth. Where it is produced, how it is produced, what are you doing when you are cooking, everything matters. It doesn't just doesn't mean it, the plastic looks good or something, or that's nice, or that something is very expensive, that means it's all nice and good. No. Your responsibility is to know where you're bringing your food from, what you are putting in your mouth is your responsibility. And the impact of it is what is doing to the climate. Are we deep, you know, are you producing food so animals in that manner just to feed yourself? Which is like 80 billion animals are killed every day. Production of that, the water usage, the deforestation, what happens to the climate is another matter. So you need to think that before things putting end. Understanding the, the pathway of food from your mouth to your tummy, what type of system you have. It's a very long intestine, 40 centimeters of food pile, esophagus, then eight meters of small bar, two meters, very long. This type of system is suited for high fiber foods in your diet. Digestive function for controlling blood pressure, your brain functions, your heart rate and the other things starts in your mouth, usually by impact of having different types of colored fruits or food. Food you need to cook lightly. Fruits you need to eat whole. You need to chew them, not like using a straw you drink it. No, it has to be done in the mouth because the food changes its chemical form. Say nitric oxide to nitrous oxide causes vasodilation. Happens naturally from berries and beetroot and uh, spinach, all these foods, fruits. Okay, so in your tummy, there are about 38 trillion bacteria, and these food are essential, which are supportive of good bacteria in your body. So if you drink alcohol, if you drink uh, fizzy drinks, you eat refined foods, foods that are cooked outside by using the oil the whole day, all night, and you eating foods cooked in that, you're killing all the good bacteria. While you ate something, whole fruits, all those I mentioned, and not do, drinking all those type of alcohol and stuff, you are letting the bacteria grow. That is all about, it's not about some ideology or belief. It's the bacteria, there's so many bacteria that needs to be there because they produce the immune system. So a uh, dysregulated immune system can cause diseases like thyroiditis, brain disease, heart disease, lung disease, Alzheimer's is called fat type of diabetes. They're all caused by this dysregulated immune system. When the wrong bacteria start growing in your body, then your immune system goes down, so your defense goes down. So you get cancers and other types of diseases. So understanding knowledge is power. If you know why we need to do something, you are more likely to do it. So I'm, that's what I'm sharing, knowledge only. You do what you do in your life because you are independent. A human being is always independent, has the freedom to either destroy their life or make their life better. Nobody can change a person. Uh, what people can do, like me, is share knowledge. That's what we can do. Okay, so follow it, the food path as you go out. So that, and then there are about 50% of your 
dopamine, endocrine, um, endocrine, serotonin, oxytocin are produced in the tummy as well. So there's a direct connection to your brain, how you feel, how you react. Okay, so breathe again, deep breaths. The third part of your subconscious control, 99% is excretory function, your kidney. So filters blood every microsecond. Five liters of blood goes to the kidney. It takes out all the toxins of your body. So if you're not eating well, not putting, you're putting too much toxin on your body. Not only it's causing diseases because your immune system is uh, irritable bowel disease, inflammatory bowel disease, thyroid, kidney, or not diabetes, Alzheimer's. But your kidney will go after a while because it's too much power. Every second it has to filter your blood of toxins. So too much of red meat, too much of refined food. You put too much effort on your kidney to remove. To think about it, what you put in your mouth. Okay, now so bring your attention to the fingertips, your wrist. Your elbow, your shoulders, go back to your neck, follow the vertebral column, the spine, down the bum, thigh, behind your calf muscle, right to the sole of your feet, come in the front, calf, knee, all the way to the spine area, left side, hold on there. Understand, left side of the spinal cord, there are channels there. So, end over hormone secretions of your body. Positioning of moon on the right side is called pingla. It's the sun, earth going around the sun. It's called circadian rhythm. It has an impact on your brain. It's called pituitary gland. So there's lots of hormone produced in your body. So good feeling hormones, your intelligence, your growth hormone, your uh, hormones to make you have energy. All these things happen. But it's directly associated with your sleeping time, your waking time, which is cycle of earth, it's not a human law, it's a nature's law. You have to follow it. You can't go against the earth's speed. So if you don't sleep on time, don't wake up on time, imagine your day, what will be your day? And the same thing is happening inside your body, as miserable you are outside, the body inside is as miserable as you're feeling outside. So simple activities of food, time you sleep and wake up, what you do to yourself is what determines your day, your productivity, what you will achieve in your life. Otherwise, you'll always be blaming the entire world for what your situation is. And nobody's going to fix it. Please know that. Everybody is alone in this universe. You need to do your own thing. And the universe doesn't help you if you're not taking going to take any responsibility for yourself. If you are going to take, the universe will help you too. The energy around you. So your brain, so what's called pineal gland, just beneath your brain. It is the receptive power to the entire universal energy that you have. So all these good feeling hormones, your connectivity beyond time and space. If you want to go in, back in time or forward in time, you need to go through this system. Because you are being fooled by what's called this time construct of we are stuck in third dimension. No. You are beyond this. Meta is to do with time. Your internal thought process mind is to do with your space area. Uh, sorry, uh, material thing to do with your time mind to do with your space and then the, the deepest part of you which is the energy form of you is beyond space and time. So your thyroid, parathyroid, bone marrow, mada, maja asti, your stem cells, the reserves of your cells to heal. Pharmacy as I keep saying is in your body, in your muscles, in each of these components like ninja mutant type, the defense system. The adrenal gland only functions so that you, when you need it to fight, 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 rather not 16 or 24 hours of your day, we are in always fighting mood, always stressed, always doing, what, imagine what you are doing to your body, why is this so many illnesses happening? 
Because after 15 years of your life of either smoking, eating bad food or shouting and barking around, your body will break. It's not only food and drink. It's your thought. It will also do in 15, 20 years the same thing to your body. Why, why are people getting so much sick after 50 years? Because they, the habits that they carried on, not only food and drink, but the way they behave in their life for 15, 20 years will have an impact onto your body as well. Okay, so, so think about it deeply. Then you can actually balance your body, which is what's called vasovagal nerve stimulation. So the true intentions of this body, which is rest, repair, regeneration, and creativity, happen through that system in your body, which is stimulated by doing this yogic exercise, your nidra, your asanas, being in nature, connecting with ocean and plants and trees and animals and the beauty of the universe. And if you want to really go deep inside you, then you want to understand the universe beyond earth, beyond the Milky Way. Then you completely synchronize yourself. Your brain waves start changing. It's all, no, I didn't say anything. It's all scientific, whatever this yogi exercise does to you. Bring your attention to your, okay? So your two eyes, your ears, your nose, nostrils, your thumb, these are the antennas. The actions ones are your reproductive functions, your uh, excretory functions, the way you store your hands and legs. These are, these are the only ten connections with the mind. And you are living in this persona. Your personality is basically a set of your personal traits, which we learn to develop after the second year of your life until you are 30 years. And you think that you were born with it? No. You program. This is the, the, the biggest uh, policy. Nobody is born with that. You were programmed. Just know that much. Before two years, even you have no, no impressions was coming. Because you had the energy of being connected to things beyond. But once you start speaking, a child, and the perception power happens, you, both, you are born. And this is what I meant, a persona that you fight for, thinking that you are that, is actually a totally programmed self that you are living in. It's not your true self even. And that's why this uh, difference or problem start up in your life after 30, 35 years. Because you are suddenly thinking, who you are trying to be someone, but you've been already programmed so high, highly wired in your brain that you can't come out of it. Okay. But you can do it if you have to know the way and uh, have to put more energy basically. Okay, so your internal organs, so your face glows, your peristalsis happens, your spleen, your, uh, your pancreas. Kidneys, all these balances happen. Your subconscious is in control of you. Now bring your attention to the tailbone. Move up where we started. Muladhar, Swadhisthana, Manipur, Anahas, Vishuddhi, Nashtagra, Tripudi, Sahasra, all the way right to the top of your head. This is who you are. You're going from physical to subtle to causal body. You can move yourself now. You can look yourself from the ceiling level and you see this is the body only. What is driving it, you can now visualize and appreciate. It's subconscious now. Keep moving because the mind can take you far away, far, faster than any uh, spacecraft. So reach 500 kilometers up. And now suddenly you see Earth is spinning. You didn't know when you were on Earth and people still believe Earth is flat and uh, that sun goes around and all these stupid things. People still have this belief. While our Rishi Munis wrote far before any of these modern day scientists about the positioning of moon, sun, movement of earth around sun, the whole Brahman, Milky Way, or Akash Ganga, they talked about it thousands of thousands of years before. Positioning of moon, sun, distance, space between the sun, moon, and earth. 
So, uh, India is the center, it's pretty little Aditya, about 1.5 million kilometers from here. It doesn't get disrupted. It's always watching the sun, moon, and earth at one time. And that's the level of uh, the atmospheric uh, different stratosphere that is there. That people talk about, uh, you have in space, say, Nakshita, when he was talking to uh, Yamraj in uh, Upanishad. All those dialogue is happening at that level, not here. That's why that knowledge is so, so humongous in terms of understanding what life is. And you go keep going further. So the closest, like, like, like planet is called Alpha Centenary. That's about uh, four and a half light years. One light year or 10 trillion kilometers. That's the distance. You can't even reach by this human uh, you know, system that we have. But your mind can go there, visualize it. Or the Milky Way itself. Okay, so the how the sun now moves in the Milky Way it takes 215 million years to make one cycle. We have done 22 cycles and around another 22 is left, about 4.5 billion years. When it will merge with another Milky Way like planet called Andromeda, when there's multiverses beyond Makar Santi, we know we celebrate the time and space, the parallel universe that is there of you as an energy already exists. And this is like science, these parallel universes. What here is, there is another form of everything. So a human form or physical form is to meant to enjoy by senses. The Earth is a beautiful planet. But if you want and to attain the true capability of this body, then you have to go into energy form. So that part of your event horizon, time, space, mass, energy, weight, particle, gravity, or quasar light, or pulsar light, beyond that, where there is no time and space, there is just uh, fourth dimension, 11, brain can go into up to 12 to 15 dimensions. Imagine the capability of this body, oh, beyond that it's called cosmic horizon, 50 uh, trillion light years uh, uh, from here, or 50, yeah, this the Sadi Sikhi Mikbe describes that the, the space there, yeah, the light matter is about the about seventy percent, dark matter about twenty eight, and the rest is what's called absolute infinity, just energy. So whatever it is, there it's in the space, and you want to obtain anything from that space, you have to reach that space, and which is thought. If it's you have to become nothing you have to become that thought then only you can tap into that abundance of wealth health wisdom and anything and everything and at the same time appreciating this unified energy that is present across everything that i described before or the quantum entanglement quantum transportation quantum energy field quantum physics and mechanics of understanding beyond Material things into an energy form, whether it is abundance is to feel it, and as you come back slowly from that uh, space into a person that you are, which is component of that, which is this body, in a in an inverted manner. So, so you evolve. Evolution happens. So you evolve in yourself. Take all this in here, to your muladhar chakra, right to the top. And you evolve into this pattern of complete transcendence and uh, energy form of who you are beyond even awareness, what is called liberation. Then you don't need to do any of these exercises, you are always in that state. But, but what these exercises give you, they give you a pathway that everybody has this capability anywhere you are born, any race, any color. My human, any, as a human, you, everyone has this capability to transcend them, breathing deeply and out, in and out. So that's all. So this um, yoga nidra is very powerful. Sleep between seven hours, maximum six to seven hours you should sleep is a default way of healing your body. But if you do this, you are actively doing it. And which is much, much more 
powerful. So now the rest of the energy pathway is doing by breathing exercise. So first one is called Bhastika Pranayam. So breathe in through your nostrils, move your belly button out. As you breathe out, press your belly button in and breathe out. Breathe in. Keep moving your belly button. I talked about diaphragm. I talked about this muscle, how it makes you, your gives you intellect and how your neuronal functions gets better when your muscles in your tummy are better. Okay. Lots of diseases get prevented. Breathe in. If this is even more energy consuming, then other exercises, physical exercises that we do. Now, second one is called Agni Sa. So breathe in deeply, breathe out everything, hold your breath and push your belly button out and in. Mm -hmm. In and up. One more time. Now, Ujjayi Prana, so feel the breath as it goes to your throat. Mm. A variation of it, put your chin on your chest and breathe even more pressure. When you fill your lung, then lift your neck up and then press your right side of nostril, but breathe out to the left side. Mm. Roll your tongue and breathe through your tongue. Through your lips. Breathe in. Aventure breathe all of it. And then breathe out everything. It's called Vahi Breathe. Hold the breath. When you are holding, close all your orifices, Mulban, Jalandanban, Udanban. Hold as long as you can. When you can't hold it, then you breathe in, slowly visualizing yourself from Muladhar Chakra right on top to the Sahasrana. 
Now let's do Kapalbhati. It's the exhalation exercise. So just consider breathing out. There's a baking created. You will breathe in anyway. Don't worry about that. Move your belly button out as you are exhaling. So synchronize it at your own rate. You need to have a rest in between. Have a rest. Just keep doing it for a while. Okay.
infinite. You stop, otherwise you can keep going. Right, so now let's do Alom Blom, breathe into the left nostril, right, to the right, into the right, out to the left, into the right, out to the left, into the right, out to the left, into the left, out to the right, into the right, out to the left. Now, do it very quietly. Nadi Shodan. Hold it. Out to the right. Hold. Into the right. Out to the left. Into the left. Out to the right. Into the right. Out to the left. Now keep your mind in the stillness. <clears throat> So the stillness is uh, in the silence is actually the real perception of the greatness of the person you are and the universal self. So you can connect. All this noise is actually a lot of distractions keeps very superficial. So be in if you want to understand your body, then you have to learn how to be silent. Once you connect, then you can hear the true voices. Then, other voices is at a superficial level is all uh, mm -hmm. distraction and noise. The real voice lies in the silence. So, just remain in this. You walk one and a half hours to, to be achieve this state now to be still. When you are in the stillness, then you can actually meditate. You can't meditate otherwise. Other types of state of meditation is usually just a relaxation little bit. But if you want to feel your presence of your true self and to be totally aligned with this energy, then it requires a little bit more effort. This would be deeply, as we say every time, connect to the Yathapinde, the the energy of the universe that is there, the creator, the consciousness, the local consciousness into the infinite consciousness. Um, um, um. Om Bhargo Deva Chodumahi Yo Yona Prachodaya Sankal De Parampita Parmatma Mathe Guru Dukhu Ne Viti Ke Liye Raapti Poor Nalam Ki Praapti Ke Liye Apne Tu Shakti Se Apne Sharan Me Aaye Aap Kripa Kar Ke Hamare Sampoon Dukho Ko Dur Kar Ke Hamare Poor Nalam Ki Praapti Karai Aur Aap Ki Kripa Ho Gaye Upar Sada Bani Gaye Om Prati Hara मैं शुद्ध आत्मा में चेतन स्वरूप हूँ मैं पांच तन्मात्राएं के पांच महाभूत आकाश वायु निकल पृथ्वी पांच तन्मात्राएं रूप रंग स्पर्श गंध शब्द दस इंद्राएं चित्त मनंकार बुद्धि कितने बल्कि मैं शुद्ध आत्मा मैं चेतन स्वरूप हूँ the body keeps changing mind keeps changing the emotions keep changing thoughts keep changing but I never change I'm the divine I'm the soul I'm the prana I'm the light one I'm part and part of the entire creation. I'm not the five primordial, I'm not the five separate, I'm not the ten senses. 
from the mind or the memory or the ego or the intelligence. My fifth day after now, my chitan sarupi. Interception, detachment, dissociation. Dharna, dhyan samadhi, dharam lakshana vasta, concentration, meditation, and blissfulness. The transcendence part of it, the energy form of life. Follow the highway. हमारे भी ब्राह्मण छठ रहे और वैश्व का शुद्ध रहे नौद्रिब आकाश वायु निजल पृथ्वी हर काल हर समय हर जगह हर मोड़ हर स्थिति में उपस्थित चौबीस जून तैतीस को पांच क्रिया बनाने चलाने वाले ईश्वर आप अनंत काल से अपने उपकार अपनी आशीर्वादों की वर्षा करते प्राणी मात्र संपूर्ण कामनाओं को पूर्ण करते हमारे लिए जो कुछ शुभता हित करे उसे अभिना मांगे स्वयं हमारे ध्वनि में डाल की जाती है आपसे आचल में विचल शांति आनंद का वास आपके चरण शनि की शीतल छाए उठन सुख की शाश्वत सुख की उपलब्धि तथा साफ अभिरेषित पदार्थों की प्राप्ति में शिष्यता तथा विश्वास हो अनुस्थिति प्रार्थना उपासना करे काम क्रोध रोग रो बना माया Create our organizer, protect our mission, omnipotent, almighty, generate our fate, protect our eventually the destroyer. From eternity, the keep showering and blessings all desires of living is our Lord's creation. By whatever is good and beneficial to us, He provided us without asking. Provide our wings and help us peace and contentment, love and affection, still our illness, weakness and worries. May all we dream of the sick prayers of it ourselves be answered with one more than the best of you. May we be like the lotus flower living in this material world, but be not attached to it. Who narrow-minded selfishness, attraction, lust, and jealousy, hatred, violence, and all negativity of our life. Kadusra, Savra, Chagadi, Dayi, Kadi, Bhakti, Kadhyatri, Prithivilok, Manaspati, Devlok, Sun, Sarin, Sukshan, Karn, Sarin, Gross, Ethereal, Bodhi, Subtle, and Causal, Bodhi. Material time, space beyond that. Jaake na ko sahiya, mar sake na koi baal na baapa kar sake jo jag bhi hai. You just keep your attention. You protect at every plane of our existence. There is no randomness, there is no accident. But all our coincidences, there is no synchronicity, there is synchronicity, symphony, harmony, new stasis. Magnetism, mental, physical, material, spiritual. We start to feel the prapti, the chama, the self, the spirit, the nirvita, the karma, the whole. The seven chhe din, our sampati, the nevara, the body, the swastha, the body, the spirit, the mind, the soul, the body, the soul, the body, the atma, the body, the soul, the soul, the body, the soul, the body, the soul, 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 the soul, और व्यक्ति महान तथा विशाल हो भी ना भी लेते हैं मतलब चलने वाले ईश्वर आप चलना भी नहीं है ना तो इसलिए ये आउट ऑफ माइंड है प्रोटेक्ट अपन नहीं है तो उन्होंने डी वेचुअल्स पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ फॉरगिवनेस सिंपलिसिटी स्टेबिलिटी फियरलेसनेस सम्मलनेस में वो गुड पॉलिटिक्स जो अपोजिशंस the body be healthy and strong mind pure and enlightened soul divine is pure basic soul our senses be enlightened by our heart of compassion and sense of what's been evil and such protection may be vision of love for that age may our personality be virtuous and great may we have complete education and wisdom oh katisa arte shuddha masi buddha masi mukta masi niranjana masi आप शुद्ध पवित्र और पीव परफेक्ट इन कंप्लीट हमें शुद्ध करो हम संकल्प करें साधना पुरुषार्थ अभ्यास कर तो विवेक और वैराग्य की प्राप्ति होती है तत्व मस्य हम ब्रह्म जय सचिदानंद संकल्प मोक्ष की शक्ति रीतम तामसी की नोशन नेगेटिविटी जो प्रोग्रामिंग है ना सेकंड ईयर ऑफ लाइफ तू थर्टी इयर्स मंकी माय निश संस्कार जन्म जन्म का जो कर्म साइकल है विच इज कवरिंग आवर डीपर पार्ट ऑफ इट्स सटल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दिस बॉडी उससे छोड़ना उसमें से निकलना तो जब दीवा मेड विद द ट्रू सेल्फ दैट यू आर
तुम्हारे जितने क्लेश दूर हो विद्या आस्पिता राग द्वेश अग्निवेश मृत्यु का भय उल्टे ज्ञान लगाओ बदले की भावना सब समाप्त हो काम को मैत्री भाव पूर्ण अपेक्षा की प्राप्ति अन्न में कुछ मन में अपराध में अविद्यान आनंद में अहिंसा सत्य आस्ती ब्रह्मचर्य की तरह सौ संतुष्ट तत्व से ईश्वर प्रधान की प्राप्ति चित्र दो मूल ज्योतिषा ज्योति मृत्यु जिहुमस्तना शुरुआत 
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thank you all for joining. Have a nice week. Yeah, I'll try on Sunday to do it from overseas. So be good. Enjoy the Christmas holidays. Yes, keep doing exercises. Look after your thoughts. Try to be deeper into knowing the person that you are. Okay. Oh, Shanti, Shanti. Parma.